All right, all right, all right. Hey guys, it's me, your girl, Simma Shaw Mommy here. And today is the day. Um, if you do not know what I'm referring to, shame on you for not following me on Twitter. But, um, message. But, uh, today my package finally came. And it's the package of my spicy Korean noodles that I've been waiting for a little background uh, around two weeks ago okay cool around two weeks ago um, I started trying to figure out how to make my ramen spicier without changing flavors and things like that and somewhere in the world <laughs> There were people doing this fire noodle challenge and I'm over here like that looks delicious. So I'm watching these people cry and sweat and go crazy over these noodles and um, I heard that they are the spiciest noodles that you can find in Korea. Now that made me even more excited <laughs> whereas most people would have run for the hills. I was like, let's go. I want that now. Um, so I started watching people do reviews of it. And it was just like, people were like, it's really good, but it's really spicy. And my tolerance for hot is amazing. Like I've gone to different countries and gotten hot sauce just because I really, 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 really like hot stuff. So basically i hopped on the bandwagon and it was more so for the taste of it because it was like it was a good taste of spicy but not too hot um well for the people who can handle it that's what they were saying so i was just like okay these have to be the best tasting noodles that i will ever ever get so let's go so i'm going to do an unboxing right here and get everything going everything's going to be recorded i mean two minutes already so thanks to my job for teaching me how to use a box cutter even though this is babe's box cutter he doesn't mind he's at work anyway so yeah. be really careful with these things i never cut myself thank god but so I was wondering why it was such a big box I was like oh did they give me two packs no they didn't here is how it comes when you order it offline because unfortunately I live in the United States and I can't find this um, in the Asian market that was closest to me actually I couldn't really remember what it looked like so it could have been in there it actually might have been in there and I just didn't remember packaging slips some things to keep your noodles from getting all crunched up because UPS isn't always reliable. Whoa, this is a heavy pack of noodles. So, this is what they look like. They look so good. And it's funny because I, I really do feel like I saw this in the store, but I don't remember. Um, I will link where I got this from before um, well I'll link where I got this from in the description because where I got it from is a lot cheaper than people uh, than where everybody else was getting theirs from because I would look at people do the challenge and it was like okay this is where I got my noodles from I'm like cool I click on the link and it's like $14.99 <laughs> like where I'm from a five pack of noodles is a dollar like come on now it used to be six pack of noodles for a dollar so me paying as much as i did for this which is actually not bad where i got it from it was 7.99 and then as i was talking about it i refreshed the page and then it was on sale for 5.26 or 5.56 let me check i don't know it doesn't say it they don't want me to relive it but it was five something <laughs> so I was like cool so by the time it was like shipping and handling it was the 9.99 and up that everybody else was talking about but it was still cheaper 
Okay, so I'm five minutes in and all I've done was talk. But this is really like a review, so that's fine, right? All right, cool. I'm so excited, so I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to open it nice and carefully because I'm so excited. I might keep the packaging and everything. Okay, so here is what the original packet looks like. Okay, they are a little bigger than the packets of ramen that you find here by Nissan. Um, there are absolutely no English words on here in the slightest whatsoever. But you do have, for my Sims lover, Charles the Angry Chicken. That's what I'm going to call him. Excuse my, my ratchet nails. I didn't do my nails beforehand. Yeah, you got Charles the Angry Chicken here. And it basically says, boil some water, right? And you drop your noodles in. Then you... Um, I'm going to do how I saw it on the challenge, and that's where everybody drains the water. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to turn my water back on because it was already boiling, but I wasn't ready yet. So I'm going to turn my noodles back on and cook them for about two to three minutes. Now, I can understand Korean a little bit, so cool, but yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have my noodles here. After you are done cooking them for, oh, I had them on about two, three minutes tops because there's a really good texture with these noodles that you don't want to lose. So take your noodles and you take your hand in chopsticks and you. Transfer them into a bowl. Whoa. What? Be very careful. Because <laughs> I almost burnt myself. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, you never put anything hot on a regular surface. Mitts are lifesavers. Now, here are your two sauce packets. And these uh, is the the fire so it has flames on it like in case you guys have never seen this it has like flames on it and everything i'm so excited i will be doing this challenge again however because my friend steve he agreed to do this with me and i would love to have waited but like i said i wasn't really in this for the challenge oh my god look how thick that is <laughs> I wasn't necessarily in it for the challenge, more so for the noodles, because I'm kind of like really hungry right now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get all of this. Oh yeah, I paid ten dollars for a pack of noodles. I'm getting every boom clock ting. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll put that in there. And these are your pepper flakes and vegetables, I think. It's like seaweed and some other really yummy looking things. So I'm just going to open it. And I'll show you guys. Whoa. Mmm. Smells good. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. My nails are just like all over the place. Please don't mind me. It's been a cleaning type of a week. Because you guys do not, do not understand how long I've waited for something that could possibly be the hottest noodles that I, that I have ever tasted. And I'm the girl who at 10 and like 11 when I was making my own top ramen, um, I was putting so much hot sauce 
in my top ramen that it was this color and sometimes my grandma or my mom or whatever adult was around me at the time would make me pour the juice out because they said like why are your noodles red there's no reason why this clear soupy broth should be red look at that oh my gosh does that not look like the, the best thing ever oh my gosh I'm so excited. Okay, so I think it's mixed well enough that I'm going. Okay, wait, no. I see like globs of red stuff <laughs> at the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely had to say my grace. <laughs> and oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm a little, I'm a little, little scared, okay? So, I want to talk with my mouth full. So, the first thing that I taste is like this sweet, subtle spice. And I'm not going to lie. This is some spicy ramen here. Like this, this ain't your mama's ramen. Like... <laughs> Oh yeah, but I'm, oh yeah, it's worth it, already. Mm-hmm, 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 I'm going to be spending a lot more money on this. Well, actually, now that I have some, maybe to, no, I ain't going to do it today. I would go up to the actual store because since I ordered them, and all this will be in the description below, but when I ordered them, I ordered from somewhere like in my state. It's just it just wasn't close to me particularly. So I went on that website and that's where I got them from. But they shipped from New Jersey, which is a little bit weird to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. No spicy, so my sin my sinuses are trying to clear out. And I do have a cup of water here because I didn't really know what to expect, but I don't really need it. Um this is actually like the perfect amount of hot. I'm waiting for the afterburn people say it like slowly kicks in and it slowly builds up so far the only thing that's going is my nose and that happens with everything so yeah so the place that i was going to get it from like i said it was 7.99 but online it went on sale for five something but i would definitely go up there and get 10 box well 10 boxes Two packs, which would be ten, or two box, well, two big packs, which would be ten little packs for $14 because it was like $7.99. I can definitely see myself doing that. And maybe, maybe these will be like, no, I already know these are my new favorite movies. I'm happy. But... As for right now, I don't understand why people were crying and all that. Like, like I was so excited to do this because this is that burn 
like my mouth is tingling a little bit really really good it does get darker it does get darker as the sauce seeps into the noodles but the texture is good it's definitely a thicker ramen than the ones we have here in the states that my lips are like red um depending on now i might be signing my death warrant by saying this i watched a youtuber do um an extreme version of this challenge to whereas he had one pack of ramen but did a russian roulette wheel on how many oh i got some more sauce in here not really like one pack of ramen and like up to like four of these so there's no way in the world i would do four of these but when i redo the challenge with uh my friend steve i might go for two of these in mine and I might make him do the same thing. But he said he's going <laughs> I don't think he said he was going to make it. I don't, he didn't say he was going to last. I don't think spicy is his forte. Five stars, actually. There is nothing about this that I don't like. And I'm really picky. Really picky when it comes to my ramen. Like, I'll try all different types. Like, you did see me do the Asian market haul. And I got a few different types of ramen. I don't think I've, I still have like two packs left, but I did do both of the Shin Black Cups. Well, the Shin Black Cup and the regular Shin Cup. And it was delicious. Uh, I like the Black Cup, the premium black soup better. The broth was more flavorful. But compared to this, all of my ramen tastes like water. <laughs> Seriously, you guys don't know how good this is. So if you're not afraid of a little spice, or a lot of spice, I'm not even going to downplay it, a lot of spice, I would recommend you get this. Um, it's delicious. It's delicious. I want, I want, I want to see people try it. Like I'm gonna trick people in my household, like when my family come over. Hey, taste this ramen. No, actually. I wouldn't even get anywhere unless they were blindfolded because the minute they saw how red this is, like, look, this bowl was white. The inside of it is now tainted red, orange, but that just makes me excited. I'm going to dig in and, like, I'm going to start eating my, my ramen. But thank you all for watching. Rate, line, rate comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And if you want me to do the extreme fire Korean challenge or fire Korean noodle ramen challenge, I'm going to need this video to hit um let's see. What can we do? Um if we can get to 100, I'll do it. 100 two packs. 200 three packs. Like we'll make this interesting, okay? So I'll see you guys around. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not simming right now, but if you're one of my simming subscribers, happy simming and have a very summerific day. Bye, guys.